Uh, did you know that chimp chimpanzees share up to 98.7% of their genetic makeup with humans? A visit to the chimpanzee sanctuary at Old Pajeta Ranch near Nanyuki opens a window into the life of these fascinating relatives of humans. Hassan Mugambi spent a day with the chimps and filed the following report. Nothing prepares you for the experience ahead when you make your way into the 250-acre chimpanzee sanctuary within the Old Pajeta Conservancy. Despite chimps being the closest relatives to humans in the animal kingdom, they also exhibit different personalities that help differentiate them. Poco is on his twos. 38 years of age, he was rescued from Burundi where he was kept in a small cage for nine years, forcing him to change his walking style. So when he came here, he could not walk like, uh, like a chimp. He could not walk on four, he used to walk on two very much applied like a human being. Mwanzo claps for attention. The 17-year-old chimp was born at Sweetwater's chimpanzee sanctuary as a result of failed birth control. She claps and stretches her hand when she wants food. As Mwanzo claps, Cheetah on the other hand spits and makes sounds. She keep on spitting until you do what she wants. <laughs> like humans, chimps also suffer post-traumatic stress disorder. 31-year-old Max picks up a rock and hurls at us. He was rescued from Burundi where he was being trained by French filmmakers for suckers. No wonder the reaction upon seeing our cameras. It is feeding time, a happy time and a time for order in the chimp world. One by one, the caregivers call them by name and serve them. Lunch is made up of an assortment of fruits. Hungry animals and even humans sometimes scramble for food. It is, however, not the case here. After everyone has been served, it is time to look for a spot, relax, and enjoy your meal. And also, we give them sweet potatoes. And in the morning and evenings, they normally get a piece of ugari. Ali is the most intelligent chimp here. If her actions are anything to go by, she has been separated from the rest for devising ways of breaking out of the enclosure. She normally get a very long piece of wood and then lean on the fence and get another shutter stick. And carefully and intelligently she start coiling the fence. She coils the wire. So when she does it, she makes sure that the live and the earth get into contact. So we get a short circuit and she also open up. And the others get a space where they can jump out. Now she has been transferred to a smaller enclosure where together with Judy, they stay. 33-year-old Judy is special. She, she came here when she had polio and so she's paralyzed. She normally limps when she's walking. Like humans, chimps develop bald head as they grow old. It is the case of 28-year-old Huruhara, whose hairline is rescinding by the day. Some of them, they may start losing their eyesight. Also they start glowing gray hair. The day ends with retreating to this house that has rooms partitioned for them. They each go to their rooms, wait for dinner before they sleep. No wonder they are not animals but great apes. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.